Cut it off, dude. Hey there, fellas. All right, today I suggest we do a bit of work on Shorty. So here's the plan. Since last time we got the sound system up and running, we finally completed the interior, we've installed some airbags, and swapped in a Jay-Z. We've got the car to where we want it. But there is a caveat to all of this. A few people came to some of the meets we organized to have a look at the car, and uh, we still haven't gotten around to installing a decent exhaust. Right now it's rocking just the exhaust manifold and a collector pipe. As a result, it makes a ton of noise. Plus, you can smell the exhaust gases while driving down the road. It's okay when you're actually moving, but once you come to a stop, that's when you get hit by the smell. Anyway, today we'll be putting together a wooden exhaust, just for the hell of it. I'm curious to see what happens. Hopefully we see some smoke once it warms up. That Jay-Z transfers a ton of heat to the exhaust. Okay, you guys watch us do all the work, and hopefully we all get a good laugh out of it. Making an exhaust system out of wood. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, fellas, this is what we've decided to go with. We made them out of some thin plywood. I think it's about maybe 8 mil thick. So right here we've got a pair of rectangular mufflers, which look pretty dope, with some double barrel exhaust tips for each side. They do look pretty cool, I have to say. I can't wait to fire up the motor and listen to how it all sounds. We're gonna leave it on for a while, give it a few revs, get everything nice and warm, after all, I do suspect that once we get a good amount of heat into the system, this plywood should start to cook, as would pretty much any other kind of wood. It'd look as if the motor itself was spitting out some smoke, even if it's just a tiny bit. Let's fire it up and have a look. So far, so good. We've got an even amount of gases. It does sound somewhat different from how it used to, which is no surprise, given that we've installed a set of mufflers. They are pretty big. It's actually warming up pretty fast. That's good. We used to have a straight pipe, which continued to about the middle of the car. Now, thanks to these fart cannons, it sounds... It's not as noisy as it used to be, but something tells me that it's not that big of a difference. The exhaust burble hasn't really changed that much. 
though it does have a lower pitch to it. Right, the plywood has gotten a bit damp. That's a good thing. Now we just have to warm the engine up and wait to see whether it all goes up in smoke. So far steam is all we're getting. Let's give it a bit of gas. Like a true thoroughbred. <laughs> we are getting there. You can smell the wood burning. It's not that pronounced, but we'll let it warm up a bit more. These have already gotten pretty hot. If we rev it some more, I'm sure they'll become too hot to touch. Can you step on the gas for me? Sweet! I can definitely feel it. Now we're getting a strong wooden odor. Shut it off, dude. So here is what we're looking at, fellas. We were revving the motor for like, I don't know, half an hour? Or maybe even 40 minutes. Ivan was riding that rev limiter for quite a long time. We were expecting the plywood to start burning up at any moment, but it never happened. I'm guessing you guys have seen... So when you park a car and it sits for a while, once you start the motor and set off, you see some water start pouring out of the muffler. We saw some steam, so I'm assuming that the condensation either soaked the plywood, or it was constantly building up. The plywood got up to maybe... like about 40 degrees Celsius. It doesn't get any hotter than that. So as far as I could tell, when we were on the rev limiter, you see the water pump generates a considerable amount of pressure inside the cooling system. One of these hoses was held on by a clamp, which gave up at some point. It was like, screw you, I'm out. And that's what caused the geyser which you guys saw earlier in this video. It was a fun thing to look at, with all of that steam spraying all over the place. As always, something just had to go wrong. 
Anyway, these plywood mufflers, for this video we've made just the cannons out of wood. We didn't go to the trouble of making any wooden tubing. In any case, they do get the job done. They even give you a pleasant sound. If we were to get some thicker plywood, and perhaps even glue it all together, now that could have been pretty awesome. Though even these mufflers gave us a nice rumble. All you have to do is take a few steps away from the car to get the full picture, considering the acoustics inside our shed. You can tell right away that this car means business. I think this experiment was quite successful. These wooden mufflers did okay. I bet with some long tubing they'd never get hot, let alone start burning. And that's all I have for you fellows. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.